Hi, in this video, we're going to do a problem. We're told that if all of these ratios are equal, so A over B is equal to C over D, which is equal to E over F, etc., then each of these ratios is equal to this. So basically, if you have a bunch of fractions and they're equal, then each of these fractions is equal to the sum of the numerators divided by the sum of the denominators. So um, that's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. So again, when you have equal fractions, uh, each fraction is equal to the sum of all the numerators divided by the sum of all the denominators. And this is a question that's given um, without proof in a book I'm looking at right now. I have it here. Um, it's called Higher Algebra. It's by Holland Knight. And so I thought, let me go ahead and do it. Um, I just proved the general case. This is a more specific case. So let's go ahead and go through it. And hopefully you learn something. It's pretty cool. By the way, this book was published in the 1800s, right? Super old. Let me give it a whiff. Smells really good. Just nice to do some math with an old book and a pencil and I don't know, just having fun. Okay, so we assume this is true. So let's go ahead and give this a name. So I'm going to say set K equal to A over B equal to C over D equal to E over F, etc. Okay, so we're going to set K equal to all of these. And then what we're going to do is we're going to write each piece in the numerator in terms of the denominator. So basically then, since k is equal to a over b, we can multiply by b. So then a is equal to bk, then c is equal to dk, because you can multiply by d, right? k is equal to c over d, so multiply by d. So c is equal to dk, and then e is equal to fk, etc. right, etc. And then now let's go ahead and write this down. So then, we have A plus C plus E plus over B plus D plus F. All right, so A is BK. Pretty cool, right? And then C is DK. And then E is FK, etc. And then in the denominator, we have B plus D plus F. Pretty simple. You can pull out a K. So you have B plus D plus F over B plus D plus F cancels and you get K. But we know what K is. We said it was equal to each of these ratios or each of these fractions. So A over B equals C over D equals E over F. And that's exactly what we wanted to prove. So that completes the proof. So beautiful, right? So cool. So that was a lot easier than I thought, <laughs> probably because I just proved the general case. That's how it is in math. You know, you, you prove something and it's really, you know, the general case is really crazy. Let me show you the general case. The general case, it's actually in the table of contents, I think the book, but it's right here. Here's the general case. So the general case in the textbook is this one uh, right here. So if these fractions are equal, then each of the ratios is equal to that. So you notice how you have P, Q's, R's, and N's, right? Um, so if you take P, Q, R, and N all to be one, you basically get, um, you know, A plus C plus E, et cetera, over B plus Q plus R, et cetera, which, which is what we have here, right? Which is what we have here. And then you can use this method to prove all kinds of other cool things. So kind of a fun little problem. I just thought I would share it. Good luck.